Hello and welcome to this video on calculating the number of protons, neutrons and electrons in an atom. Okay, you should be familiar with the two numbers on the periodic table. The top one being the mass number, which is the number of protons and neutrons added together. And then the bottom number being the atomic proton number, which tells you the number of protons and also the number of electrons. So using that information then, you are able to work out the number of protons and neutrons and electrons for any atom. And in the exam, they might just turn around to you, give you a random element and say work them out. So the protons is always the bottom number, in this case three. The electrons is the same, which is three. And then to work out the neutrons, it's that top number, take away the bottom number, seven minus three, which is four. Okay, let's have a look at a couple of questions then. So this one, we've got two different isotopes of chlorine, and it's asking you to calculate the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons for each isotope. So think back to what we've done in the rest of the video. Have a go at it, pause the video, and we'll see if you're right in a minute. Okay, let's see if you're right. So, this is worth six marks. So, one mark for each of the protons, neutrons, and electrons for each isotope. So we'll start off with chlorine 37. Protons, you should have got is the bottom number, so 17. The electrons is the same, 17, so that's one mark for each of those. Then the neutrons is top number, take away the bottom number, big take away little, which should give you 20. So that would be three marks out of three for that section. If we have a look at chlorine 35, the protons are the same. Remember our definition of an isotope, same number of protons, different number of neutrons. Electrons are also the same, 17, both the bottom number. And then 35 take away 17, which gives you 18. So if you got all of those, you got 6 out of 6. Well done. If you're feeling confident with that and you feel as though you don't need to learn any more from this video, have a go at the review section, which is calculate the number of protons, neutrons and electrons for Davium. And that's the end of this video.